It's Angle and Dylan here back with another YouTube video. And today we're going to be discussing Northern Pike diamond locations on the Troll Sport Reserve on Call the Wild the Angler. And first things first, everyone, I just want to thank you. I know it may not be much, but I just want to thank the two subscribers that I do have. I appreciate it. Um, remember, if you're liking the content, please remember to leave a like, comment, let me know what you guys want to see more hotspot guides, more, you know, just fishing videos, hunter videos, you know, any of that. But uh, just leave me a comment below on what you guys want to see. So today, guys, we're going to get right to the video about these pike. So these pike, <clears throat> here, I'm at a diamond location right now. So I think there's about five or six, maybe even seven locations for these guys. So first off, we're going to start right here. This is a Diamond Northern Pike location, a very popular one, actually. And these, as you can see, these three locations right here are all diamond locations for northern pipe all of these excuse me guys all these locations right here so then excuse me we come into this location over here as well this is also a diamond northern pipe location by the trail by this trailhead over here right over here usually have to access this area by boat it's, it's like uh, the EU dock area and over here by the villa if you don't have this yet you know, this is the villa so there's a diamond location here for northern pike as well i think that makes number five and then there's seven locations so this is a this was marked in the, the angler official discord uh check it out for these hot spots by the way i don't own any of these hot spots these are all found on the angler discord so this is another one that they had marked. I'm not sure if they accidentally marked it or not, but it, it said it was a hot spot, but it wasn't posted in the photos, so I'm really not too sure about that one. So we move on to our last one here, guys. And our last one is going to be right here in the old Magic Pond. Of course, I've got diamond markers all in here. I've caught diamond asp. I think you can catch about anything diamond that's in here, let's see, besides Atlantic Salmon. I think that's the only thing that you can't catch it's diamond in there. I think the biggest thing catches silver. Maybe gold, I don't know. But anyways guys, we're gonna get the fish in here. I'm gonna show you these are hot spots, so they're not gonna be straight diamonds. But we're having a competition this week in our competition group. Of course I'll leave the link in the description. We're having a competition this week on Northern Pike so I figured hey why not make a good video about Northern Pike locations while, you know, I might be able to catch one or two you diamonds for the you know the challenge or competition so to speak anyways guys let's get straight into it so I'll catch you when we got it fish alright guys so I'm hooked up on a fish here I'm not too sure if it's a pike or a salmon so this is this is also a I don't know if they, you can catch a diamond salmon here or not but you know this is uh, mainly a pike location at certain times but you know you will catch the occasional salmon I do got a pike on guys so that is a big sound below my boat but anyways here's our first pike in the video this isn't a you know a great pike but as you can see i got my boat because i've seen a big pike surface over here right in front of me like right in this area um so let's talk about water temperature so water temperature for pike that i've noticed tend to be around 55 degrees or so um, I'm going to look on the Facebook page right now at a couple diamonds just to give you a confirmation because I'm just about positive 54.8 degrees I'm seeing 55 55 55 for a gold 55 and 55 so all those I just said besides one were diamonds and they were all they all come in water temps of 55 so my guess is going to be that the pike Diamond water temperature is going to be between 54 and 55, so to speak. So, as you can see, the temperature is not great right now. And let's just go ahead and jump into a couple of baits that the salmon do indeed like. Um, so, as we can see here, if we go to the uh, northern pike, I haven't caught a diamond one of these yet. I really want one. That's really the diamond I'm after. So, I hope I can get one from this video or soon. So basically, here's your traits. They go directly without nibbling, so of course they're just gonna you're gonna have to immediately strike and be prepared. Like the jump, of course, so you can see where they're at. They fight a lot harder when they're close to the boat or the bank, and they also they're active in the sun, so they're not active at night as much. So as you can see, their top three is a swim bait, a jerk bait, and a spinner bait. 
And if we inspect, you can see we can also catch them on shad, minnow, spoon, grubs, poppers, frogs, wopters, which is interesting, and crankbaits, and spinners. So, as you can see, habitats include deep pond, lake shore, shallow lake, deep lake, upriver, middle river, and river mouth. So, that's where we're going to find these guys. So, basically, this is our location for uh, diamonds. They're basically just Pike and General Hotspot Guide. So, location number one, guys. I'll catch you at the next location. Alright, everyone. So, I just pulled up to the pike location number two, which is right here, right near this one. So, let's go ahead and get a line cast out as fast as possible and try to get us a pike so we can continue on with this video without making it too long. I'm not searching for size. I'm just, you know, these are hot spots. So, it's places where you can catch pike. And here we go. I'm already into one right here. Um, not particularly sure how big this one is. Probably a small silver, so maybe a bronze. I don't know. I really don't care. I'm just trying to show everyone the hot spots, which is uh, what I'm making this video for. So, like I said, keep in mind, these are also all diamond locations. You just got to catch them at the right water temperature, which is 54 to 55 degrees. And let's see what we got here. And let's also check, check the water temperature. Water temperature here is 51 again. So, I've heard my cousin say, and, you know, I've also heard more people say that, the best time to catch these guys diamond wise is it, I think early in the morning maybe or I know for sure late in the evening like 16 to like 18 maybe so be aware of that so we're gonna go to the next location and I'll catch you at the next location guys guys so we just pulled up to the other location for the pike and hopefully we can get us one this is the waterfall pond location for him so see if we can get one to hit here but, that sneaky Luff, Lufferin guy, or Luffarn, sneaky Luffarn, he just called a diamond asp. So this could be, this is a diamond asp location as well. I don't, I'm not sure if there's any other species over here that might make diamond, or that can make diamond in this area, but what, what is this? Is that another asp? See guys, I've already caught two species, but they haven't been the right. Uh-oh, I need to break off. Get broke off. No, I'm not. Oh, that's a big pike, guys. Okay, okay, this is a pike. Okay, this is a nice pike. The water temperature was right. I started recording before this, but I couldn't catch a pike, so I had to scrap the footage. It seems to be a silver or better. I think it's a silver. Let's get him in here so, so you guys can see what we got. 20 pounds silver, nice. And the water temperature is almost about right in the 54-ish range, which is where you want to be. Pretty good sized pike. So, yeah, guys, this is the third spot. So I will catch you all at the fourth location. So we just caught a 8-pound bronze pike right here. I messed up what I was saying, so I really didn't include it in that footage. But... As you can see, this is Diamond Pike location number four, hot spot number four right here. Water temperature was 54.8 degrees, which is almost perfect. So, uh, yeah, so the, you just got to catch enough uh, pike for them to spawn. But this is a diamond location as well. I promise you guys, like, I just caught this eight-pound pike right here. Right here, because the last footage I, caught, I brought to you was with this 20-pound. So right here, I've got an asp and a pike. So, guys, location number four. I'll catch you guys at location number five. So I'm at the villa. And I can just first cast, and I catch this beautiful gold asp right here. Water temperature is looking nice. It's also leveling up my jerk bait, so I can't complain. But wow, I thought it was a salmon come through the water at first. But anyways, let's see what we can get right here. I know usually I always catch one asp and then one pike, which is really odd. So hopefully I can catch a pike here so I can uh, shorten this video. Uh, so you guys, of course, won't have to watch a 20-minute video, so to speak. So hopefully... Oh. We got a little lock word in again. Ooh, this, if this is an asp, this is a diamond asp, but I'm pretty sure this is a pike. Like, I, I was just saying to myself, I don't know if salmon can be up here or not. Could be that if salmon can spawn up here. I don't know what's going on with that mountain over there, but it seems to be glitching out. That is a pike. A nice pike, indeed, too. Alrighty. Come here, big boy. That is a decent one. Heck yeah. It's like a big silver, maybe. Yeah, I'd say it's a big silver. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here, guys. Water temperature is 54.6 with that asp. So, let's see if we can make some observations, you know, make some conclusions about this water temperature thing. 
pretty good one, I think. I have a gold. That's, a, that's just a big silver. Okay, guys. So, pretty much, we have this pike. So, the water temperature was 54.6 with that gold asp. So, it, it tends that the water temperature does stay the same area with these. So, it's very important. And as you can see, the last two locations I've been, water temperature has been, well, actually, the last three locations I've been, water temp has been about 54. So, it, it appears like the pike dock and, you know, middle pond, maybe, for the pike isn't so good. But that's just my observation. During this time of day, of course, during this server, it is... 853 right now so but that's just my observations guys I'll catch you at diamond pike location number six diamond pike location number six hotspot number six whatever you want to call it and we're at the magic pond so basically oh hold that thought so I was just hoping that we could get one to buy it and we did so let's see what you got here. I was hoping we could get a silver better. Because I need it for a specific reason. But looks like to be a bronze, which is totally okay. Let's see what the water temperature is in the magic pond. See my buddy Kayla pull a couple good ones out over here. a uh, couple of diamonds. So here we have a bronze, 54 degree water temp. And yeah. So this is diamond pike location number six. I will catch you at the at the last diamond location. If this actually is a diamond location or not, I really don't know, but it was marked on the Discord, so I put it on my map. So, I'll catch you there, guys. Number seven. The last diamond hotspot for the pike. I don't, I'm not sure if pike are up here, or if this is a correct diamond spot, but uh, I guess we're about to see, because if something bites it, I'm assuming it's going to be a pike, considering that it's up here. So, I'm just as curious as you guys are. To know if there is pike up here or not. Um, well, so far it doesn't see. I don't see anything chasing my jerk bay here. So it kind of makes me wonder if there is any pike up here or not. But anyhow, we're gonna test it and see. So, what can it hurt? Uh oh, there's a pike right there. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Wow, he bit. He bit right in time. Absolutely. Thank you for biting, buddy. Let's see what the water tip up here is, guys. Alright, it looks to be a silver. Okay. 53.3, so it's cooler up here. But, me and my cousin are also talking, you know, my cousin uh, is Chase, Golem Chase456, by the way. But, um, we were talking about the diamond water temp theory. So, basically, we are talking about maybe the diamonds come from a like from the, this might sound weird, but like they swim from a different area where the water temperature is not the same. So it shows up. So say that pike swim, he swim from an area that's 53 degrees. And say where that fish is, where that trout appears to be, brown trout right there, appears to be, is 56 degrees. So we also thought about that. So maybe if a fish swim from different locations, it can alter the water temperature or tell you like the wrong water temperature, even though the water temperature is right in front of you, if that makes any sense. But guys, I do appreciate you for stopping by and watching this video and watching the hotspot guide. And it's been Angle and Dylan, guys, and I'm out. Peace.